We're back together because when he passed away a year ago, uh, we were compelled to be together, together to grieve. Um, it was a powerful time in all of our lives, and this is part of our grief, and this is what we're doing as we're mourning through this. So. The, it, this is not sort of, it's not a sentimental, uh, we're not leading with like, oh, we need to go and just like, re, you know, go through our old yearbook and look at how great we looked back then. It's really not that. There's part of that in there, but at the end of all of this, if that's what's leading this, we'll know to back off. But right now, this is taking what we are and still are as a unit when we're together and when we're playing, the energy is in the bottle. We're taking it to these people who are grieving like we are and letting them have a little bit of relief. That's where this is at. That's it. That's it. Yep. It's as simple as that. And, and that's what we want to share with people. That, that's something that... Um, you know, you had to be there to experience it. And he's not with us now, but we have the ability now to give people a glimpse of what we experienced with him. And I think that's a powerful thing. I know it helped me heal. Mm -hmm. He instilled a, an ability in each one of us to listen, to listen not just to the words of someone speaking to you, but if, you, if you're going to grow this garden, if you're going to make this perfect meal, you must pay attention to every faction, every detail of it, and those little details outside of that have to be communicating with each other. So listening became a tool that we, and I believe everybody that ever worked with him, learned deeply is how to listen. He, he <laughs> He did what any boss would do and just put it to bed. But it you know, at that intense run we had all those years, you know, it was starting to come apart at the seams with personalities and under that kind of pressure, just like human beings do, and he just kind of made a decision, but it's not like it completely caught us 100% because they're, like all bands, you go through a lot, and we had gone through a lot, so it uh, was the end of that, and he wanted to move on as a, basically a solo artist with a backing band, you know, no disrespect. But this was a band he was a very critical member of, and you know, we drove him kind of crazy. You know, we, we as you can tell. You know, I knew I drove him crazy. We had fun. We had a lot of fun. Sometimes we would we would be rehearsing and we would crack up. We'd just laugh for an hour, just cracking yeah. jokes. Well, we'd, we'd go to... play softball with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. basketball, Take roller a break, skating. Go, okay, mm -hmm. we're, we're not going to rehearse today. Let's go play softball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, that's where the legendary <laughs> basketball thing yeah. you know, started. We were really playing basketball all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... We are, uh, we'd love to be able to see if there's some legs with this, but we got to go out. We got to get a feedback. We got to feel what's going on.